Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World. And on today's vlog, uh, we're going to be honoring suicide prevention awareness. Today is the last day in September, September 30th. Uh, I do apologize. I meant to do this video a little early in the month, but I've been so busy promoting my new book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift, which is available on pre-sale on my website. Would you check out the link below in the bio? Um, shout out to everybody out there who's been allowing me to come on their podcast and interview with them and talk about it and share my story and shout out to everybody who's been reaching out to me and, and, you know, giving me all the love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Even the people overseas in the UK and Canada, even got people out in Sri Lanka. That is so amazing, you know, who, who watch my videos and have heard about me already. And I've just started with this. And so I'm so happy and so blessed and, and grateful for it all. I appreciate every little bit of it. It, it is so, you guys have no idea. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's the reason being why I haven't been posting any videos or on you know my website. So I do apologize about that. Um, that's my main focus right now is promoting my book. However, I'm still going to try to make time to... Um, practice what I preach and, and bring to you guys uh, and talk about those topics that we talk about here at Third Eye and in Difference World. And with that being said, the topic today is going to be about suicide prevention and how to recognize the signs. I'm going to give you guys you know, tools and resources and also uh, some facts about it and also just share a little bit of my personal side with the experiences um, being on that road. And so, yeah, just delving right into it. Um, thank you guys for tuning in as well. Anybody out there, you know, really listening, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Um, but with that being said, uh, suicide, uh, in, in, I'm going to title this video, uh, Suicide is a Cultural Thing. And a lot of people, you know, they may be shocked when they hear that. But in my opinion, I feel that suicide is, is a part of a cultural norm, if you will. And if you really sit back and think about it. You know, it, it's affected in all cultures, even within the black culture with white people, you know, Hispanics, Asian American culture, even the LGBTQ uh, culture. Uh, each culture, if, if you will, have their own perspective, have been affected by suicide. So in, in my opinion, suicide is a cultural thing. And um, I just want to share some facts that I, I found out about suicide and from CDC.com and <clears throat> during the circle of 2019. This is what they found. Around 12 million people have thought about suicide and 3.5 million have planned suicide and 1.4 million people have attempted suicide within the year 2019. Every 11 minutes, one person dies from suicide in the U.S. And as, as far as, as causing uh, leading deaths, suicide is the 10th in the U.S. It's the second cause for people who ages from 10 to 34 it's the fourth leading cause for people for the ages 35 to 44, and the fifth leading cause for those for the ages to 55 to 30, plus, excuse me, 45 to 55. Now, if you ask, you know, what causes depression, I, I found out the top main reasons what causes it is, um, excuse me, suicide is depression, bully, mental disorder, um, the weight of the world, you know, feeling loneliness, or helplessness, as well as personal issues people go through in their personal lives. Um, the top five people that are, you know, in danger or are mostly affected by suicide is the youth, young adults, uh, members of the LGBTQ community, black men, and people who are depressed overall. And so, you know, with that being said, suicide is, is, a, is a major issue in America as well as, a, you know, a, a, a cultural norm that needs to be talked about and addressed in ways that, you know, can help all. And I do notice and see that, you know, a lot of people out there and I'm noticing a lot of more mental health commercials. So that's why I'm so happy to, you know, see now on TV, as opposed to what we used to see in the past, people not talking about these issues or just sweeping it under the rug. And so I'm so happy to see that now, you know, you're seeing more commercials or infomercials about, you know, suicide prevention and, you know, mental health and people providing resources and people coming forth and talking about these issues. And so for people who are out there who are, are going through these, you know, thoughts of suicide and having these, these issues, I say this to you, it's okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. Go get help. 
you know, it's it's not over for you. You are not alone in what you're going through, but but don't end it all. You know, just take some time to to think about what you you're feeling, and know and understand that suicidal thoughts are temporary, but suicide is permanent. And so, when you take that step, there's no going back. And so, before you take that step. Just think about the steps that you can take, you know, making a plan of action for your life and how, you know, ways they can get better for you. And just know that if you go through it, you're going to leave behind so many people that care about you and that love you. They're going to be hurt by what you've done. And so for me telling you this, even though I don't know you, you don't know me, please don't do it. You matter. I care about you, even though I don't know you. I love you. You matter to me. For those who are out there going through, you know, depression, bullying, feeling like they're alone, you are not alone, you know. For me personally, it was it was when I had when I finally got my mental health in check, I was able to, you know, get a plan of action for my life and find, you know, new direction. Had I not, I would have been eventually on that road of suicide. And so I thank God, you know, I, I was able to take control of the reins. And and I want to be an example for anybody out there that's looking at this video and that's listening and watching and, and to know that, you know, it does get better. Look at me. You know, when I took control and, and finally admitted the ugly truth to myself that, you know, I needed to go and fix my issues. I needed to go get help, whether that meant, you know, going to therapy or confronting some of the people that was causing me the hurt, pain in my life. That's what I did. And so once I did that, it felt like, you know, a ton of weight of the world it was just lifted. And so I'm telling you from from a person who's been there and, and, and know what you're going through and has taken control and said, no, I'm not going to go down this road. I do not want to be that person that that takes the control and, and decides to, you know, leave the surf when it's not their time. And then in the process, you know, hurting people and leaving people that love and care for you, leaving them behind with the hurt and sorrow of you not being here, all because, you know, you thought or feel that nobody cared about you, nobody loved you. That's not true. There are people out there who care about you, that want you here. You have a purpose in life. And so you just have to understand it and accept that it's on you to figure that out and know and understand that, you know, some of the things that you went through in life, whatever you went through in life, in your past, whether it be your childhood trauma, your adult relationships that didn't work out, you know, whatever happened, it may or may not have been your fault. It may or may not have been out of your control, but it is somehow, some way your problem and it's on you to deal with. And that's a lot of us, the ugly truth that we have to face, but don't want to and need to. And so for me, when I did that, I was free as a bird. I was able to, you know, accept the truth and process it, and was able to move on from it and let it go. And and with that, that's how I was able to write my book and, and start my business. And so, again, just look at me and, and my testimony as an example of what can happen for you if you just, you know, get it in your head, understand, and accept that, yes, and, and know that what you're going through, you are feeling something. It, it's it's different for everybody. I can't tell you that what you're going through is not that serious. I would never dismiss anybody's feelings because you, you never know until you walk them out with somebody's shoe. You never know what they're going through. But do know and understand it does get better when you just keep going full steam ahead and don't give in. Don't give up on yourself or people who believe in you. Think of it like that. Got got people that, that count on you and they care about you and love you. And if you just, you know, give up on them then what are they, what's that saying to them? That it's okay to give up. And so I also specifically just want to reach out, take this moment to reach out to my people in the black community, even though, you know, suicide affects us all, for those specifically in the black community and what, you know, who are going through, you know, those thoughts and having mental issues, I want you to know and understand that you are not alone. It's okay to not be okay. But again, don't sit there and not be, and just not be okay. We need you here. There's already enough people out there in the world taking us off the map. We don't need to take ourselves off the map, and we don't need to take each other off the map. We need us, and we need you guys here. Uh, specifically, you know, our black kings out there who are going through it. And, and I, I specifically want y'all to know, as a black woman, I do not think, you know, it's, it's anything wrong with the black man, you know, crying or showing, you know, his sense of side when it's time to. 
And so for those who are out there, you know, who are listening, that's, you know, of the black community, you know, the black men understand that we need you black kings. So stay here because we need you. And so do what you have to do to get yourself together and then come back to us to help us raise our, our young kings and queens up the right way. And, and for anybody out there who needs resources and, and wants resources for those out there who have family members that are going through the situation or been in this situation, um, you can definitely go to research such as, you know, the suicide prevention line. I'll leave this in my bio as well, uh, suicidepreventionlifeline.org. You can go to mentalhealthishealth.us. You can call the Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-822, excuse me, 8255. Mess that up. Let me say it again. 1-800-273-8255. That's a suicide prevention uh, hotline. As well as um, for those who are part of the LGBTQ uh, community that, that often face these issues, you know, suicide is a, a high issue in their community as well. And so for those out there who are listening, who are part of that community and who are listening to me, know, understand, you know, I'm with you on this issue and I, I care about you and I want you guys to know that you guys matter and we need you here. And so if you are going through, you know, these thoughts of suicide and facing depression or bullying or any type of issue, mental issue, and you need help and resources, uh, you can go to the Trevor Lifeline and speak with them about it at 1-800, excuse me, one 866 Five eight eight seven three eight six. I'm again going to all have this all in my bio. That's the Trevor Lifeline one eight six six four eight eight seven three eight six. As well as you can go to Osteen dot org. Um, as well as my people in the Black community um, for your resources as well. If you guys need somebody specifically to talk to about the issues that you guys are going through that you know the outside world doesn't understand, you can visit uh, the National Alliance on Mental Illness dot org. Or you can give them a call at 1-800-662-4357. Again, the number is 1-800-662-4357. Um, also, I just really quickly, I uh, want to take the time to say for, for those out there who 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 want to help and, and come up with ways how to prevent those who are going through super suicide and how to recognize the signs, you know, this is what I found Um for those who, who how to recognize if you notice people who are feeling, you know, unbearable feelings like hopelessness or loneliness or depressed, often talking about, you know, there's no hope for them. And that's a sign, you know, that they, they're feeling down and depressed and, you know, may, may want to reach out to them and, you know, and see if they're okay. Also, for those, you know, they might be, you know, kind of TC being taking care of business, getting their house in order type last minute things, you know, like making a will giving away their things or telling people goodbye, giving them long hugs and saying, you know, little things that they don't normally say. Um, those are, that's another method of way that you can recognize a sign that they may be having thoughts of suicide as well as, you know, rehearsal suicide. People, you know, often, again, stats show uh, 3.5 million people plan out their suicide before they actually go through with it. And so, um, People, you know, sometimes rehearse their suicide, you know, come up with methods of ways and practice how they're going to do it or what they're going to do or where they're going to do. And so, you know, if you are in that boat and you're thinking of ways, you know, how to take yourself off the map, uh, don't. <laughs> but the, that's also if you if you recognize somebody, you know, talking about getting a gun or, you know, notice on their phone that looking up ways of how to kill themselves, you know, that's a sheer tell sign that, you know, we need to, you need to get them some help or help them out in any way, reach out to them. Also, you know, distance and, and excuse me, uh, drugs and alcohol. If you know it's a person who's, you know, amping up, you know, the drug and alcohol use and becoming very impulsive, you know, behaviors and negative behaviors, they may also be a sheer terror sign that they may be having suicidal thoughts or feeling suicidal as well. Um, isolation is also another sign to look out for. If you know it's a person who's all of a sudden, their happiness and their glow, they're usually out and about, but now all of a sudden they're secluded and they're to themselves or they just don't want to hang with somebody or they're just, you know, shacked up in a room. There's another, there's a, that's another sheer tell sign that they may be feeling suicidal or depressed. And, you know, that's just ways to check on them to make sure that they're okay. Um, lastly, I think also the sudden sense of realm of calm is another uh, method that we, that, that I saw 
uh, that you recognize for those who are all of a sudden they were feeling hopeless one moment and loneliness and sad and depressed, but then the next day they're calm, they're cool, they're collected, they're feeling like everything is going to be okay. That may also be a sign that they have decided to plan on a way to complete their suicide attempt. And so uh, if you recognize those signs, uh, definitely reach out to somebody and reach out to that person. You know, don't just sit back and, and let it happen. That's also, you know, a, a part of the problem too. Too many times, you know, people try to tell us without telling us there's a problem and we just ignore it. We don't really hear them. And so these are the signs that you can look out for. Um, if you notice these signs with these people or, or you notice them within yourself, get help. Uh, again, it's okay not to be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. Don't feel ashamed about it. Don't be embarrassed about it. Because trust me, once you free yourself from that burden, it, it, it's like a village comes to you. So many people come out to you and tell you, hey, I'm, you're not alone. I'm going through the same thing as you are. And before you know it, you, you have, you know, a, a village for people that, you know, that feel like you and think like you. And that's also a resource that you can use, you know, to move away from that track of suicide and suicidal thoughts. And so um, recognize those signs and, 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 and hone in on that and know what to do and how to go about it. Again, uh, check out the websites and the phone numbers for the resources and tools uh, that you can use um, for recognizing the signs as well as, you know, what you can do uh, to get help. Uh, as far as what I did, I, I went and got with a therapist. And not only that, I found other resources, finding a hobby, talking with my friends and family about it, um, making amends with the past, you know, confronting the people that, you know, hurt me or I hurt and, and, and doing my best to move forward and just getting it in my mind, reprogramming my mind as well, you know, to know that I'm a warrior, not, not a loser. I'm not going to go out, you know, on that side that, that, that doesn't end well for me and that leaves people hurt. And so until the wheels fall off this ride, <laughs> I'm going to ride it. And, 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 and live my life to the fullest. That's what, what came of it when I got it together. And, and, and I pray and hope that anybody out there listening and looking at this video, you know, stumbling over my words and all, you know, please hear me and see and understand that it, it gets better for you when you finally take control of yourself and, and, and admit to yourself that you need help and not feel ashamed about it. So anybody out there listening, Please share this video, comment under the section. You know, I'd I love to hear, you know, your story. If you guys need help with any resources, again, the information will be in my bio. Um, I don't want to keep it too, too long, you know, lose your attention. But uh, that's all, you know, the facts I have. I want to share about you guys with the Suicide Prevention Awareness Month in September. Um, also, next month coming up is Domestic Abuse Awareness Month. And so I'll be sharing another video with that. And so hopefully next time it'll be more crisp and I have my hair did, it'll be recolored. I know y'all looking at me, so don't worry about it. It'll be fixed next time. Still cute though. So that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, don't forget whatever it is that you want in life, manifest, plan and prepare for it. And it will come to you surely. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, uh, whatever else it is that you guys do, <laughs> they tell you to do with this page. I told you I'm not new to, uh, used to this. And so, um, I'm just getting used to it. But thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is on pre-sale. So go to my website. Link will be in the bio. Uh, and you guys can go and buy it on pre-sale now for $20. It will go up after a certain time. So get it in while it's good. Uh, other than that, Difference Well, come and learn. Have a good one. Bye.